John Gray, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Welcome to the podcast where we will be discussing the book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, by John Gray. This book has been one of the most influential books on relationships ever written, and it has sold millions of copies worldwide. The book is based on the idea that men and women are fundamentally different from each other, not just physically, but also psychologically. According to Gray, these differences are so profound that they can create misunderstandings and conflicts in relationships, which can be difficult to overcome without understanding them. In this podcast, we will be discussing some of the key ideas in the book and how they can be applied to our relationships with others. So, let's dive in. Firstly, Gray argues that men and women have different needs in relationships. Men need to feel respected, while women need to feel cherished. This is because men are wired to be competitive and to want to achieve, whereas women are wired to nurture and care for others. This means that men often feel emasculated when they are not respected by their partner, while women can feel unloved when they are not cherished. To overcome this, Gray suggests that men should focus on showing respect to their partner by listening to them and validating their feelings, while women should focus on showing love and appreciation for their partner by being affectionate and supportive. Another key idea in the book is that men and women communicate differently. Men tend to communicate in a more direct and logical way, while women tend to communicate in a more indirect and emotional way. This can create misunderstandings and conflicts, as men may not understand the emotional subtext of what women are saying, while women may feel that men are not listening to their feelings. To overcome this, Gray suggests that men should try to listen to their partner's feelings and validate them, even if they don't fully understand them. Women, on the other hand, should try to communicate their feelings more clearly and directly, rather than expecting their partner to pick up on their emotional cues. Gray also discusses the importance of maintaining a balance of independence and togetherness in relationships. Men tend to value their independence and need time alone to recharge, while women tend to value their relationships and need to feel connected to others. This means that men may feel suffocated if they are not given enough space, while women may feel neglected if they are not given enough attention. To overcome this, Gray suggests that couples should respect each other's need for both independence and togetherness, and find a balance that works for both partners. Finally, Gray discusses the importance of understanding and accepting our differences. Men and women are wired differently, and it is important to accept and celebrate these differences, rather than trying to change them. This means that men should not try to make their partners more like them, and women should not try to make their partners more like them. Instead, couples should celebrate their differences and use them to complement each other's strengths and weaknesses. One of the fundamental concepts of the book is that men and women have different ways of dealing with stress. Gray argues that men are more likely to retreat into their cave when they are feeling stressed or overwhelmed, while women are more likely to seek out support and connection. This can create misunderstandings in relationships, as women may feel rejected or neglected when their partner retreats into his cave, while men may feel smothered or controlled when their partner tries to connect with them too much. To overcome this, Gray suggests that couples should understand and respect each other's different ways of dealing with stress. Men should communicate with their partner about their need for alone time, while women should respect their partner's need for space and not take it personally. Another key concept in the book is the idea that men and women have different love languages. Gray identifies five primary love languages, words of affirmation, quality time, physical touch, acts of service, and gifts. According to Gray, men tend to express their love through acts of service, such as doing chores or fixing things around the house, while women tend to express their love through words of affirmation and quality time. This can create misunderstandings in relationships, as women may feel unloved if their partner doesn't express his love through words or quality time, while men may feel unappreciated if their acts of service are not acknowledged. To overcome this, Gray suggests that couples should understand and appreciate each other's different love languages, and make an effort to express their love in ways that their partner will understand and appreciate. Finally, Gray emphasizes the importance of empathy and understanding in relationships. He argues that men and women often have different perspectives and experiences, and it is important to try to understand and empathize with each other's point of view. This means that men should try to understand and empathize with their partner's emotional needs, even if they don't fully understand them, while women should try to understand and empathize with their partner's need for independence and space. In conclusion, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, is a book that has had a profound impact on the way we think about relationships. By understanding and accepting our differences, we can create more harmonious and fulfilling relationships with the people we love. 
Thank you for listening to this podcast, and we hope you have found it helpful in understanding the key ideas in John Gray's book.